is just a small world, I'm telling you guys. That completely made my day. guys I had to kind of rush out of the house this morning because um, I needed to take a handrail over to my dad the one that we had to put on our stairs he's painting today anyway and he said the appraiser is gonna come tonight I guess to make sure it's done um, and check on the cement take some pictures so I had to quickly run that over because he was getting ready to paint needed it pretty quickly so we just got back home now and we're gonna finish getting ready because I plan to take the boys to a fruit farm near Chillicothe, Hirsch's fruit farm. Take them there. I haven't actually ever really been to an orchard before, um, at least not recently, and the boys have never been there, so I'm gonna go Can see what it's slide? like. Nick said he's been there and stuff. Hey, careful, those are muddy. Put them down. Hang on. Put them down. Ooh. They're all muddy because from yesterday, this, these are two. Look, look what it's doing to the seat. Sorry for all the distractions. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna take him there. We've had a really chill week this week and I need to get out of the house and do something. Just like a couple days in a row of not doing much is just, yeah. So yeah, this week has been a lot more laid back than some of the previous weeks have been. So that's what we're doing today and I just thought I'd bring you guys along. I just had something really scary happen to me again. This camera flew out of my hands and flew down on cement. This is the second time at least that this camera has like fallen smack down. The other time was on the carpet. <sighs> I was so scared because the, the shutter outside wouldn't open fully but that's what happened the last time. Like it wouldn't open fully and what happened is the front part here just like bent in a little bit. So <sighs> praise the Lord I think it's okay. I don't know why I don't learn to be a little bit more careful. But anyway, all I was trying to do was show you guys the cement out here. If you remember the vlog where I showed you that we replaced the cement pad back here. This is what it looks like now. Yeah, it looks a little different obviously than the old stuff. But yeah, we fixed this for them since they had kind of wanted us to do that. So, yeah. Okay, so I think we're finally ready to go. I've been at home here. Um, this is just my outfit of the day. Got my little booties on. And then I have um, this scarf here. I think it was actually my sister Erica's. I don't know, did I borrow it? Never return it or what, but sorry, Ari. <laughs> then I just have this sweater from Old Navy last year. And my gray, I mean my white and black striped shirt that I wear a lot which was also Erica's. So are you seeing a pattern here? <laughs> I think I'm gonna miss her uh, closet when I move to Florida, but anyways. And then this dress here is just some fabric from a local shop that I bought it from. So I decided to wait a little bit this morning. We were just kind of around here and I was actually uh, doing a little bit of browsing on uh, ThreadUp. I will be doing a haul later on, probably in November sometime, for you guys. So, if you aren't aware of, of ThreadUp, it is a online consignment store. So, anyway, so I was looking at some things and it's not quite as cold anymore, so that's good. And I think we are gonna get going. Why are you driving your little bike again? Cuz, don't you remember yesterday? Yeah. The bike is too small for him and he kept tipping over because he was trying to go so fast. <laughs> Okay, put it back in here. Whoa, you're strong. Put it back in here, okay? Mom, I just do something similar. Just put it there. Uh, Careful. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Um, I um up there. The remember that um rock pile there? Yeah. Um, I um I um drove up it. You drove up it? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't that steep. 
Okay. Okay, right. let's go. Mom, I yep. tell Caden's balloon on the side of the wall. Oh, all right. It's a balloon. Right. Thank you, you too. Make sure you share this. Careful, very careful. if we can actually go out in the orchard. I thought it was a you pick thing, but now I'm not sure. So we'll find out. Yes. And a big one. But you can't have it. Just orange ones. What? Yeah. Hmm. What do you think, bud? Which kind do you like? Mom, this one is kind of a little apples. Yeah. Okay, why don't you put them down in there? Here's the good cider. Yes, yes. Okay, we gotta get a big gallon. Get one down there in the bottom. The big one? This one? No, that's the little one. This one? Yep. Can you carry it? <laughs> tiny drink. Here, hang on. Sally since I die, okay. Last is my gay, I'll be good guys now has seen it. See him at Razi Command Hop do it. Feels goldenly delicious. I don't know what kind we want here. Mm. About a bag of yellow. Look, there's a little green thing what you can Yeah, it's supposed to taste like apple. It kinda does. Kinda does? Jax? <laughs> you said you didn't want any. Alright, so we just got two of the kind. Oh boy. Oh boy. Real life, folks. Anyway, these are the apples I got. Yellow delicious, and I think this was the jo Jonah Gold, maybe? I forget. I'm gonna go down that gut slide. What? See that really hard while you were just climb up. Okay. Uh, look at the. 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 I'm having to use my phone now. I forgot to bring my extra battery. But yeah, that was kind of a bummer about the fruit farm thing. I don't know why. I guess I was just thinking it's a you pick thing. But it wasn't that I could tell anyway. So I just got a couple apples and some of the good cider and stuff. So decided I'll bring them over here to the park. Let them run off some energy. And it is a nice day. So I just got off the phone with Nick. I asked him if he had heard anything back from the inspections down at the Florida house. They did them yesterday, I think yesterday afternoon. And so this morning he got a report back and I don't, there's nothing really major. So I guess that's good. Um, at least we have some peace of mind now as far as all that goes. And yeah, of course my brain is just going and going about different things. Uh, I was yesterday, I was really looking at floor ideas and stuff. Um, there's the one kind of floor that we're probably gonna use. Well, that Brandon recommended for us. Um, some, I think it's called AquaGuard from Floor and Decor. So if any of you guys have experience with that, let me know. I know he's put it in, in a lot of houses down there in Florida and stuff. So it's a laminate of some sort, but anyway, I've been trying to figure out what color I want and everything, uh, and I'm leaning towards kind of a lighter color. And so I've been painting some things and that kind of thing. So yeah, that was kind of 
has been on my mind. We're going down in a couple weeks, like I said, so then we're probably gonna have to nail that down, figure out what we're gonna do and stuff. So we're also gonna get our ceilings scraped, hopefully. Um, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a really big improvement. So we have to do that before we do the floors, I think. Get someone to do that and then, um, yeah, the floor. So that'll be the two major things we're gonna do before we move in, um, but. I'm just really excited, seriously. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like now there's not too much I can do as far as here. I can't really start packing and I can't really make too many decisions as far as down there because not everything is finalized and everything yet. So yeah, we'll see. Still waiting to hear for sure about the appraisal or like the closing date for this house. Hopefully everything will stay on schedule and we'll see uh, if we can have closing while we're down there anyway in Florida so I hope so that'd be really nice not to have to overnight stuff and that kind of thing but that is kind of the latest news nothing really new I guess from when I told you last but yep I'll I'll keep you guys informed So we've been home for a little while and just before I got home with the handrail, my dad called me and said that the guys were here already. They were here earlier than what I had thought. So I quickly had to install the handrail. Actually, I'll just go ahead and show you guys. It's really nothing fancy, but um, he said it should be no problem. Looks good. So here's what we put up. I think it'll do the job. So meanwhile, I've just been trying to get caught up on emails and YouTube business related things. Jackson wants a fruit snack. A fruit snack? Me too. Is uh, that going to fill you up? Oh. Are they almost all gone? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Careful. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Watching stuff. Like what? I don't know. Okay, you're getting so big. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You act like a little man. Huh? You act, it is open already, bud. You don't need to open it further. Careful. Okay. Goodness. Okay, you can keep watching for a little bit, then I'm going to tell you to get off, okay? Okay? Okay. All right. Caden, are you about ready? We we are gonna go run to the library. I hope they're not closed already. But I wanna take the stuff back that we got earlier this week and get them some more books for tonight. Not sure how you're supposed to be quiet when there's you know toys for them to play with. This is my dinner. It's some kind of salmon with miso butter and some green beans. This is from Home Chef. And then I just made some garlic bread um, or some of the Mommy, five cheese this? toast for the boys. It's what? tater tots. Tater tots. Yeah, their dinner is a little bit unhealthy, but I love quick. Tater. What did you just do? Took a piece. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he definitely took a piece. He got impatient waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> Kaden. <laughs> Mom, what yeah. Hang on. <laughs> Never, take Never take a shark to the dentist. Not the dentist. Never sit next to a porcupine on the subway. Whew. Never go shopping for shoes with a centipede. You know why? Look at all the shoes on there. Okay, I was gonna end the vlog, but my mom just called me and told me a very astonishing story. Come on, why is it not focusing? Um, I am gonna give a shout out to a Vicky from New Zealand. If you're watching this, let me know because, but anyway, so her friend, my mom's friend, and I know, I know these people 
at least somewhat. My mom and them are friends with them. But anyway, they said that uh, their, their, her sister was just on a trip in Iceland and New Zealand. And I think she and another friend maybe or something. And someone asked them if they know Lynette Yoder. Now these girls that were on this trip are Mennonite as well. But someone asked them if they know Lynette Yoder and they were like, yeah, I, I don't know the conversation. But Vicky from New Zealand said hi. So Vicky, if you're watching this, hi. That <laughs> That is just incredible to me that paths would cross and that some random Mennonites that you happen to see would actually know me. Like, it is just a small world, I'm telling you guys. That completely made my day, I'm serious. I, I have met a couple people already that I didn't know, but that watched me or whatever, but that's kind of typical among Mennonites because it's, it's a little bit of a smaller world in our communities because we kind of know people a little bit more and we kind of, you know, travel around some. But this is just, this is amazing. That just completely made my evening. So yeah, if you're watching Vicky, Thank you for asking them. That's just that's the coolest thing ever. So, anyway, I just had to had to say this and to tell you all that. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog now, and I hope you all had a wonderful day. And thank you all for tagging along with us today. So I'll end it there. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.